Hi guys, Naya here. Welcome to the fourth episode of Playing as African Union. The African Union is held together by a leadership council representing key stakeholders in the Union. The leadership council is effectively an executive council with the judicial, administrative and legislative responsibilities remaining with individual governments. Because of the violent history of so many insurrections, the People's African Union provides stability through superior military forces. The strength of the Union rests on the shoulders of people like Prime Minister Senator Jamabari, who commands the respect from the armed forces and has the wisdom of knowing how to best use them. Well, that's a little bit of history, and now he was sent to the new planet. I have to be honest, I played this game like a week ago last time so we finished terraforming let's choose the next research and i'm going into genetic design into social dynamics next that is for the uh, specialist buildings with grower specialists like cloning plant like civil creation and through our agreements we are supporting the development and expansion of our competitors i don't really mind let's colonize this planet make trade route again with magan let's send them all to magan yeah and zuberi is going to get the most of it quest for launch complex allows us uh, to get 10 percent production for orbital units or one orbital coverage let's take the orbital coverage that's never bad but we already have so much production that uh, it doesn't matter if we get 10% for solar collectors which take two turns it will not take out any turns for us the cinema as well is finished and next one should be on the minerals the mine is very useful <clears throat> expansion completed on project device we get a free level in affinity and an artifact temporal injector but we get a free affinity level and i'm choosing to go up in purity because we are going somewhat hybrid but ultimately i think i'm going into the harmony victory unless i'm going for a world conquest and taking out all of our enemies capitals but they are going to expand rapidly i hope the ai doesn't break with the agreement and starts producing colonists uh, at an insane cost surely it is able to do so let them finish the trade depot let's purchase let's not forget purchasing trade convoys to build a recycler again trade depot in Siswe. let's get you a trade convoy and finally we can start building Dianwell in generally this is going to be very energy and production heavy city well, we don't have many agreements active, but everybody wanted the colonization corpse from me. One, two, three. I guess one is missing. Let's check out the personal two traits. Yeah, just the time. Let's upgrade the domestic up to the highest level and get growth, get food, again, trade with my capital, Magan. This will yield the most. There is Akkor of Kamui, unheld from that one city from population reduced that's good news we can check that i believe in the economic overview of resources and health here negative and positive city breakdown not really just negative health from generally i can't see the difference here all right that's not very informative anyway there is not much to build in sabo let's or build some solar collectors there is the genetic design we get access to further health buildings and the cloning plant and well alternatively the ectogenesis pot that might not be bad but it's literally free food in the city that doesn't need to be worked and i think magan might afford it of course i could also build a cloning plant in here let's take the ectogenesis pot and grow the city as big as we can because we can another virtue and i'm going to push towards industry and finally get the energy in every city and i will take profiteering for half a health for every trade unit 26 from virtues that's a lot seriously finally has to build a master jester but i'm going to purchase that 
has the population to utilize it better than these three does. One, two, three. And this is the only one worked. Which is incidentally a generator only. Finally, we are going to improve this floatstone. There's a lot of it. Eight points. Eight sources of floatstone. And I love the music that is playing in the background right now. And incidentally, we can start building other buildings. Let's go for the gene garden and the cloning plant in Bongani. A lot of us recycler. Let's continue with the clinic and up our health situation. And Zuberi is probably, yeah, it is run out of good tiles to work. Let's purchase the mass digester and produce a cloning plant. Yeah, at least two growers. That's much better than working this ocean tile. We don't have robotics, so the ferroxid is unimproved. We can work on this shell. Alternatively, I could also purchase the petroleum down here. Solar collector will be launched over here, over Zuberi. Again, we have the population to work it, so let's do that. And there are the colonists. Uh, yeah, our opponents are going to colonize quickly because of us, because of the agreement we have. Magan is getting also some yields from the here it says 30 production. 15 food, freight, that's mostly due to stat mining, Kea but also the other cities, they supply it as well. There are more cities it's already suitable to purchase uh, mass digesters, but I don't have the energy, suddenly we have run out of energy to spend. <laughs> There's the first war, Susan Fielding declared on Hutama. All but these tiles, finally we can again purchase the master jester in this city, which will be much more helpful than working these tiles. And maybe even these tiles over at the river. The city is definitely going to be poor. Move Laden over here. We cannot go to the ocean yet. And perhaps we'll never will. Duncan is going in a different affinity. That makes things difficult. Yeah, he's going a little bit into... Um, Primacy. Let's have a look here. I'm by far the most advanced Asia. It is the same direction while well, Duncan is going supremacy. Well, that's the greatest difference between us. Here's the quest for the gene garden. We can get additional energy or health, even though usually the energy is um, the way to go. I'll pick the hill health because we are going to have huge cities in our area. Here it is. Gene Garden will provide three additional health. Let's launch the solar collector over some of our new cities. Look, Circe is already at six population. That's, I think, really insane growth. Pebble has 12 population, but not enough tiles to work. All of the extra population are working as specialists, as specialist traders and some growers. Let's have a look. Yeah. Utama is going to settle around here in the snow. Um, that's not as far from Jebuile. And you might hear something outside. It seems like someone is cutting trees. I'm sorry if you hear some... There is the wandered ectogenesis spot. We get a, one food for every four population in the city. That's very minor compared to all of the bonuses we have. So let's just consider it a real ordinary building and who doesn't like it Arsha doesn't like it either all right in that case let's build the gene garden in Magan and and in most of our cities like Ion has already finished it and if I were to go to war this would be the point where it is very advantageous to do so because we are ahead we are already at a great working economy what else is there to do? Well, go on a conquest spree. Build a lot of units that take like three, five turns to build. Okay, let's launch this over Sizwe, the next one over Jabulil. And Ayan has built everything we need to get to social dynamics first. Let's go and research development. And I think our science has expl exploded in the last few turns. So from about 100 or 120 
which we had at the start of the episode, we are at 170 almost. Laden was moved, perhaps we can move it even closer and take all of these resources. Well, not destroy the RNG, though if there was some improvement, that would be in, well, in danger. That would be destroyed. And this solar collector, well, it has to go above Laden over here. Finally, I have found some of these floating alien structures for the Marvel quest. I don't think I'm going to finish it on this planet. All right, American Reconnaissance Corporation has set Rangi ablaze. So the war is not a cold one, but a hot one. Well, Rangi has to be somewhere in this area. Quest obstacles of the past for cloning plant. Well, cloning people is obviously an obstacle of the past. But it's not always about people, it's like these stem cells could be used to battle many forms of disease or uh, provide shelf life for our food. We can either get one health from cloning plants or 10% food carried over. And honestly, I would pick the food carried over. Let's go for this, this game and try to build as big an empire, huge cities as we can. Honestly, these cities have already had to build an old earth relic but yet to do so so they only have six tons but seven population most of it is indeed growers yeah growing food in well sheltered environment let's investigate and continue the marvel quest five of them well there are already one explored so there are six on the planet there's some disturbing news. The intrigue level in Magan has risen. I don't have any agents, so that might be a problem. Let's continue with... Com oh, let's research computing right now and go for social dynamics later. Master God, he did not have the Master Jester yet, but it is an insanely productive city with two in unemployed citizens and a lot from the earth over here. Well, the water... Let's build the Master Jester then. And there are a lot of alien nests over here. If I were to destroy them, this would anger the aliens beyond reason. I'm not sure. I don't think I'm going to do that. Instead, I'm going to withdraw to Chapulile. And since this explorer is in Miasma, it would be in danger. But I think the Harmony... Yeah, it's at level 8. You know, take no damage from Miasma and the perk over here. But we get this one from unhealth from number of cities reduced by 25%. That means, well, four for every city. So we only get three, which is even counteracted by one of our virtues here, the synergy bonus one health. So two unhealth for every city plus the population unhealth. Even though specialists do give um, additional unhealth, it looks like we are very well in the positives. And Rangi was... Cap well, recaptured by Polistralia. That's good news. It won't be burned down. Let's have a look. A fishery on Colonia would give us additional science for generator three energy. Let's go for the fishery. The science is really is really worth it. And since we don't need anything else, solar collector, I will switch generally with its hundred production to something a bit more useful, probably like science it will yield me additional 25 science that's like 10 percent of what we are doing really really great and we can build a spy agency because we have reached computing and we can finally up well upgrade missile rover because we got them let's make it stronger against land units we are not going to conquer this game i and we can start building networks in all of our cities, which is great. However, I think I will build the spy agency in general, which will be very fast. And the network in Magan, so that it is built quicker in all of our other cities. The solar collector will go here over Laden. And it seems we are exploring with our orbital units, which is not a bad thing, but it takes time to do so and it's much less fun probably than exploring with explorers which is a unit that is really cheap and made only for the reason of exploring super finished to water refinery which will boost it greatly and yeah let's build the biofactory
three. Well, there is the fishery that was clearly fast. At least I didn't notice. Now, how about plankton? We can build a fishery over here, but that only gives one energy. Oh, there's titanium over here. Let's buy that for laden. I saw it out of the window. They are cutting down, well, cutting some branches of a tree uh, right below my window. So the network was finished in Magan. We can, well, all of these are special buildings that need improved sources of something. I'm not going to do I'll build them. Of course, network in Moscow. For these, we get as, uh, access to covered operations. Um, network in here. Hum, do I get this? And 2% health. Not really. That's a good one, but I don't need it. Anyway, these percent based ones are pretty weak because there is 8 agents maximum. So plus 2% for each agent. That's like 15 maximum if you if you specialize, specialize into that. And even then, the agent has to be at home, at the headquarters. And assign one like Karmiti to Magan so that we don't get this nasty intrigue in here. All of our cities are covered except for Masago with the solar collectors, but I'm going to launch this one over CRC. And obviously we need more workers, but I'm going easy on this planet and going more into specialists and not going to improve the land so much. We get a virtue and finally the 10% energy in every city. Potentially the synergy bonus as well. And I'm thinking between Alternative markets and interdependence network. Which one is better? And I think the interdependence network yields some more. Let's check the trade routes. And yeah, these yield pretty decent yields. Even for Magan. Well, the production from Denali is nice. All of these are very, very well improved. There's the quest for network. We can either get it a culture or free maintenance. And I don't care for the free maintenance culture and this will benefit us greatly. Ladon doesn't have improved Firex seed but we get some possibly from trade and the last trade combo from Genelli. Let me think the uh, trade route to Ion to Ladon even looks really good for the other one of course. Could even trade with outside like Jimboomba and he would get 21 energy per turn. Insane yields but I think yeah Ladon is the one to go to this city. And I've neglected my diplomatic capital and energy situation for a long time. Let's check my personal trade. We get the profiteering increased yields from trade routes. Let's check what we can upgrade into. That's the military ones. Of course, projective will would serve us very well with what we have with big cities. I could also use the colonial one to purchase uh, city plots much cheaper, efficient one, but I don't think that's uh, really bad. Let's up the military trade profiteering up to 60% so that our capital gets the most of it. And we get some very decent potential agreements. Uh, they are all improved because we are cooperating with everyone and things like civil infrastructure might be really good health from strategic resources however i saw that we could get eminent domain that's not really an interesting one but we could ask Hutama for market deregulation and he agrees that means more trade routes possible for us probably even take the black markets here look for asha kish what she has how about the commercial lobby yeah, that's cool. Love that she's going into harmony just like us. That outfit is great. Isn't Fielding is undecided. Utama no, is a bit into the purity Maybe side. Here. Duncan in supremacy uh, looks distinctly, well, more technologically advanced than others. And we get a lot of trade route slots available in all of our cities because of the agreement there. That's insane. In that case, let's purchase trade convoys. Jabulile. It was just one turn earlier because these cities were already at size 10. Three trade convoys from Bongani. And 
five in our capital. Let's use them all. Where did the trade convoys go? My prime candidate is generally. These all these cities will get some decent yields. A lot of them cannot because it already has one from generally. In that case, I will supply free land. No, Pembella. Freeland somehow doesn't give any science per turn. From to me or to him. That's very strange. Let's go to Pembella. <laughs> well, my gun cannot trade with anyone else at any of our cities. But I can go to Fjaland. Why not? He may be misguided into some other affinity. But I don't mind. There is social dynamics with all the civil crash, some other story, terror vault available. We reach level 6 in purity, which means we can finally go the real hybrid uh, affinity in here. Start building the civil crash in Magan so that we get all the fine, fine grower specialist slots. And I think uh, this could be the end of the episode. We have experienced some explosive growth in all of our cities. Uh, I could settle a few more, but I think this size of the empire is the most I can manage myself. So let's not torture myself. <laughs> See you at the next episode. Probably I will even record it today. I have a pretty good day. See you in the next episode and bye.